I used a little excessive force and I slapped somebody when he said something really insulting to me. And after I did that, I realized, wow, I, I, shouldn't have, I had no right to do that. That was not professional. It, was, it not only was not professional, it was not human. About a week later, another incident occurred, and I used more force than I needed. After the guy was handcuffed, I grabbed him, I pushed him up against the wall, and I said, don't you dare say that to me again. Do you understand? And I realized this is a disease I'm starting to develop. The hunt for black people, as he calls it, is part of a racist system that he condemns today. The first thing he denounces is the quota of arrest imposed on U.S. police in many large cities. This race for numbers pushes them to stop black people for no reason. Quotas lead to arrests for no reason. Minorities have no one to call if they're wrongly arrested. The white person will call their local political committee man or person. They'll, they'll call the parents, perhaps, of a, a teenager will call the local politician. Yo, what's going on here? My child was arrested just because he didn't have his license. Why don't you just tell him to go home and get his license? And, and things like, so the white person has more power. Black people have no connection to the people in power. So you know there's not going to be any uh, blowback on arresting a minority because they don't have any power to complain. And African Americans are not only unjustly arrested, they are not treated with the same respect as white people are. If you stop somebody from going through a light, you would say, hey, out of your car, out of your car, show me ID. You wouldn't say that. To, to a white person, you would go up and say, may I see your driver's license, please? And blacks know that. Blacks know when you go up and say, hey, out of your car, now. And then they say, whoa, what did I do? Oh, don't, what did I do? Don't say that. Don't ask me why I'm stopping you. I said get out of the car. And that's right there, your first disrespect. And I, I saw that happening, and blacks know it's happening. They know it's not happening to white people. So automatically they start resenting the police just from little thing, command, verbal commands, let alone the physicality of grabbing somebody and putting them in handcuffs while you check their ID. Unfortunately, when I would tell other officers, whoa, that's enough, that's enough. Then they would think, hey, what are you? Uh, N, N for the word. What are you, an N lover? Since he retired, he campaigns openly against the racist behavior of the police. The former officer has even made a very explicit sign. I'm asking police, end open season. Stop shooting black men just like they're some kind of animal. They wouldn't do that with the white? No. no. Why? They have, uh, they devalue the black man. The black man is, well, let's put it this way, uh, in driving down a street in Philadelphia on a hot Friday night in August, I was with a partner, and uh, of course, hot August night in Philadelphia, it's, a lot of these people don't have air conditioning, and, and, and they're, they're outside. 